In this tutorial, I'm going to cover simple movement animation. To get started, I just added an image above my background video on the timeline. Let's begin by dragging the image on the timeline to where you want it to first come on screen. Drag its ends to adjust its duration if you'd like. Then make sure your image is selected on the timeline and go over to Effect Controls. In here, position the time edge where you want your image to start moving. I'm just going to move mine to the very start so that my image animates as soon as it appears on my video. Then drag the positions left and right values to move your image to where you want it to first show up on the screen. Click the timer button next to position to create your first keyframe which will represent the starting point for your animation. Next, position the time edge to where you want your image to be done moving by. Then change the position's values to where you want your image to move to by that time. This will automatically create a second keyframe which represents your image moving from the first keyframe to this point. Alright, now we have a very simple movement animation. If you want to create additional movements, like moving this arrow to some other point after the first, you just position the time edge to where you want that next animation to end and then change the position's values to create a third keyframe. And now my image moves to the second keyframe's location and then to the thirds. But let's say you want the image to pause in between the second and third keyframes animation and then move again after the pause. I'm going to delete this third keyframe and instead click the little circle between these two arrows next to position. This will create an additional keyframe at the time head's location which represents the current position of your image. This means that however big this gap is between keyframes 2 and 3 is how long your image will stay put at the second keyframe's location. Now I'm going to move the time head after the third keyframe and reposition my image again to automatically create a fourth keyframe. Now when I play this back, my image will move to the second keyframe's location, pause at the gap between keyframes 2 and 3, and then continue after 3 to the fourth location. Alright, this works great, but in my opinion, the movement looks kind of stiff. To smooth out your animation, click and drag to select the keyframes you'd like to smooth. I'm just going to select all of them. Right-click one of them and hover over Temporal Interpolation. Select one of these options to smooth out your animation. I'm just going to select Auto Bezier, but you can experiment with the other options and change them at any time. Okay, now my animation looks much smoother. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.